Hello friends, welcome to this practical course on StatPro software. In the previous lectures, we have added all the dead loads and all the live loads as well. In this lecture, we will add the seismic data to our structure. To add the seismic data, go to definitions and then go to seismic definitions and click on add. From the type, select IS1893-2016 code now since our structure is situated in Ahmedabad which is comes under zone 3 so the zone factor in our case will be 0 0.16 you can find the zone factor for your city from this zone map now Coming to the importance factor, so we will consider the importance factor for all other buildings which is 1. Since the number of occupants in our building is less than 200, so the importance factor that will be considered for our case is for all other buildings. Now coming to the response reduction factor, since our structure is situated in zone 3, so as for the code, we must consider RC buildings with special movement resisting frame. So the response reduction factor for SMRF is 5. Now let's consider all these values in STAT Pro. So now after selecting the IS1893 part 1 2016 code, click on the generate button. Select the city as Ahmedabad. So as you can see that Stat Pro has auto automatically taken the value of zone factor which is 0 0.16. The response reduction factor that we will consider will be for RC buildings with special movement resisting frame which is 5. The importance factor will be for all other buildings. The rock type or the soil type in our case is a medium soil. Now coming to the structure type, so the first structure type that is given in the code is bare movement resisting frame with without any masonry infills. So since our structure con contains the masonry walls, so we will not use this category. Now coming to the next category which is buildings with RC structural walls. So in our building, there are no shear walls or RC structural walls. So we will also not use this category as well. Now the last category that is all other buildings. So we will use the cat building category as all other buildings. So select the structure type as all other buildings. A damping ratio will be 5% and let the stat calculate the time period automatically. We will not add the time period manually over here. So now click on the generate button. Let's add some more data. Let's input here the height of the building. So select node to node distance option. So the height of the building that we will consider will be above the ground level, which is 26.365 meters. So enter the value here as 26.365. Now the next value that we will add is the base dimension of the building in x direction. So check the node distance, node to node distance in the x direction that is 17.374. So enter the value here as 17.374. Similarly base dimension along the z direction which is 14.859. So with this data, click on add and click on close. So now we have added the seismic data to our structure. Now let's add the seismic weight. 
So select the seismic data that we have already added and click on the add button. In this, select reference load. Now double click on dead load and double click on live load. Now as per IS 1893 code, we will consider 100% of the dead load. So the factor for the dead load will be 1. However, for live load, we will consider the factor as 0 0.25. Since in our building, the live load value is 2 kN per meter square, which is less than or equal to 3. So as per the code, we should consider only 25% of the live load. Hence 0 0.25 factor in that case. So the seismic weight that we have considered is 100% of the dead load and 25% of the live load. Now click on add. So this is the reason why we have added live load on typical floor and live load on roof in the separate load case. So it is easy for us to add the seismic weight. So this is how we will add the seismic weight and this is how we will add the seismic data to our structure. So guys that's all for this video. You can like, share and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future update. See you in the next video.